All right, let's look at our second uh, practice problem associated with sample problem B here in chapter four. Again, uh, we're using kind of our triangles that we figured out uh, back in chapter three, uh, but we're applying those same types of ideas to uh, forces, right? Uh, calculating forces, angles, forces, things like that, uh, breaking them up into X and Y components and, and the like. Number two, a gust of wind blows an apple from a tree. As the apple falls, the gravitational force on the apple is 2.25 newtons downward. And the force of the wind on the apple, again, as it falls, is 1.05 newtons to the right. Okay, so we've got some directions, we've got some forces. Find the magnitude and direction of the net force on the apple. So uh, first up, we have a, a downward force right, due to gravity, on the apple. And we also have a force moving to the right. Now we can uh, represent these uh, numerically because the question gave them to us. Um, now, so that's going to be, you know, uh, negative right because it's, it's in the downward direction and using that kind of classic uh, x coordinate system but what we're being asked to do is basically uh, calculate the resultant here right which uh, the term here would be net force on the apple okay uh, because the resultant here again is the result of these two component vectors uh, but if they're both acting on the apple, what's the net force, right? What's the resultant? And so we'll need to calculate the magnitude of the hypotenuse of this triangle. We'll also need to calculate the angle of uh, this, this angle right here, this part of the triangle. Uh, so let's get started. So uh, in order to calculate the magnitude, we'll use the Pythagorean theorem. And in order to calculate the direction, we'll use inverse tangent. Okay. Again, th that should sound pretty darn familiar. So let's get started. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Squared. Squared equals, again, that, uh, that resultant is represented as uh, I won't represent it as D as a result, and I'll represent it as um, force net, because I'm cool like that, okay? Uh, now, when I actually uh, plug this into the calculator, I get, actually, yeah, plug that into the calculator, I get uh, 6.165, but again, this is actually squared, right? And so I actually have to square root this in order to get uh, my proper value. So uh, a calculator, so I get square root of that answer, end up with 2.482941804, yada, yada, yada. Then again, I'm using three significant figures in my calculations here given to me by the problem. So I need to report my answer with three significant figures. So 2.48 newtons is going to be the magnitude of uh, the net force. We also need to do the direction. So we're going to use the inverse tangent so we can actually calculate the, the angle. It's going to be uh, opposites over adjacent. Now, looking at my setup here, here's the angle uh, that I'm trying to find, right, that I'm solving for. So opposite there is the 105 newtons. And the 2.25 newtons, okay? And when I take the <coughs> inverse tangent of that, end up with 25.0. Again, like I said earlier, I ended up with a whole bunch of stuff in there, okay? But I only want to re report three significant figures, so I'm going to stick with three significant figures. Uh, 
So, uh, but we, but with the state, the direction as well. So we're not quite done. So force net is 2.48 newtons. Okay. Now this zero zero degrees okay but in what direction well we can say let's see maybe not that way so that'd be to the, the right to the right of down fair enough to the right of down uh, now it don't get caught calculating this angle right because that, that would come up to be what 65. 65. So make sure you're uh, using the, the you're trying to solve for the correct angle, uh, so your direction is accurate. So and there we go. And now uh, just notice that I did not um, use my negative sign in here. Okay, and that's not the end of the world because remember, well, I mean. It could be the end of the world, but it's not the end of the world right here because I'm trying to interpret my, my graph, my, my drawing, um, and, and understanding that negative signs indicate direction, okay? We're able to understand that uh, we're actually moving down. It's, 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 it's a downward movement. We're below the x-axis. We're, we're in that negative quadrant. So um, you still come out with 25 is the negative, uh, but again, we're saying uh, right of down. Okay, so we don't need negative 25 degrees. Uh, we're looking more for the direction, okay, right of down. But if you were just write negative 25 degrees, as long as you understand where the angle is, you can interpret that as well. So hopefully that's, that didn't confuse anybody. Because even if I do have that negative in there, it'll, it'll still come out uh, uh, with the correct information, as long as you interpret the information appropriately.